Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. And today we are delving into the world of SwiftUI to chat about something pretty handy, which is steppers. Now, why do we care about steppers? Well, imagine you are building an app and you want to let users easily increase or decrease a value. Think of updating quantities of an item in a cart. You want users to be able to click on a plus sign to add one more item and on a minus sign to remove one item. So it's like a shortcut for them. No need to type in quantities manually. So user can just click on the plus sign to add a quantity and click on a minus sign to decrease the quantity. So these are some of the places where strippers come pretty handy. So in today's video, we are going to see how we can implement these handy strippers in our SwiftUI code. So let's jump right into it. So on this screen, you can see we have a strippers demo view and a text. For now, we will remove this text and add a list. And to add a stepper, we just need to write stepper. And then there are certain parameters. For now, we'll be selecting this title key and value. For title, we'll say increase quantity. And for value, it is asking for a binding and stridable protocol. So this is something new. So stridable protocol actually means that something that can be increased or decreased. So a good example for this will be a number because you can always increase a number or decrease a number. So let's create a integer variable and pass it inside this value as a binding variable. So I will create a state where quantity and I'll keep it as n and by default I'll give it value as one. And because it is a binding variable, we will add a dollar sign and then the quantity. Now let's just reload our preview. And you will see we have got a nice plus and minus sign. And then an increase quantity title that we provided here. And once we click on plus and minus, the quantity is increasing, but uh, we are not showing it anywhere. So let's just quickly show it here too. And here we will add quantity. So currently you can see the quantity is one. If I click on plus, the quantity has increased to three. If we click more, the quantity is increasing. So this works pretty great. You get a decent plus minus UI by using steppers. So currently you can see that the quantity is only increasing by one. So by default, plus minus only increment and decrement the value by one. What if you want to increment it in a multiple of two or in a multiple of three? For this, let's add another stepper. And this time, we will use something called increment and decrement, this function. So here we got title on increment and on decrement functions. So let's name it increase quantity by plus minus two. So here we would be increasing and decreasing quantity by two. So we'll say quantity plus is equal to two. And here on decrement, we'll say that we want to decrement by two. So now once we click on plus, you'll see that the value here is changing by two. Currently it is seven. If I click on plus, it is changing to nine. And if I click on minus, it is changing back to seven. So we are increasing and decreasing the quantity by plus and minus two. One more example for this stepper can be increasing the text font. So let's say I have a text element inside the list, which says subscribe. And if you haven't already, please do. All right. And let's add a font here which will be a system and off size uh, 15. Let's create a variable here from the font size state where font size is equal to cg4, which will be equal to 15 and we'll pass it here. Now, instead of uh, increasing the quantity, let's increase font by plus minus five. And here we'll say font size plus is equal to five and font size minus is equal to five. 
So now we have changed this stepper to increase the font size by plus and minus 5. So if I click on plus, you will see the subscribe button has changed its font to plus 5. And similarly, if I click on minus, the font size is decreasing. We can also animate it like we learned in our previous videos. We can just use with animation block and put our value updating code inside this. Similarly for this. Now once we click on this plus and minus button, you will see that the text font size is updating along with animation. So we saw two applications of using steppers. There can be plenty more. You can use it as per your requirement. And uh, yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you understood steppers. And please do like, subscribe and comment on the video if you liked it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.